Street West Monroe. Good morning, everybody. We are here at the Louisiana Purchase Gardens and Zoo. Yes, hi, Desi. Uh, I'm joined by Lisa Taylor, as always, and Desi the chicken. Yes, this is one of our Bantam chickens, and uh, he just gave me a run for my money. I was looking like Rocky out here trying to catch him. Yes. So tell me a little bit about Bantam chickens. Yes. Banty chickens? Yeah, you can say Banny or you can say Bantam. Uh, these guys are from Southeast Asia originally, um, and uh, sailors actually brought them to a little uh, island, or I say island, a place called Java, Indonesia. And uh, they left them there, and then they started picking them up from there to take them on the ships because, you know, we had to have little chickens on yeah. the big ships that the sailors were taking all over the country. Yes. And so tell me a little bit about uh, their coloring. I know that he has um, a friend, Lucy, here too. Oh, yeah. So these guys are actually, it's a little funny story. They're named after Lucille Wall's uh, show, Lu I Love Lucy. So this is Desi, and Lucy is actually over there also, and she's black also, like him. Um, these guys were actually donated to the zoo years and years and years ago. Desi's pretty old. Um, but Banny chickens are, you know, one-third the size of a regular chicken. These guys have all the features of a normal chicken. Um, they, you know, he crows to impress the girls just like uh, normal roosters do and he shows out with all them beautiful feathers yes uh, these guys are omnivores chickens uh, love to eat a variety of different things from grains to bugs to worms to things like that a lot of people have them as, as yes. pets and actually are um, open range feeding them now uh, chickens became pr pretty popular during covid <laughs> <laughs> yes, they definitely did. And I love that he has a, a green iridescent tint to his feathers. Yes, he does. Um, chickens are one of my favorites here at the zoo. I'm not supposed to have favorites, uh, but yeah, the chickens have a super place in my heart. And oh, Jessica, we have something great that's happening. Yes. Our uh, Louisiana Purchase School Zoological Society is sponsoring this uh, little bit of construction you see behind us. Yes. We're going to be building a brand new chicken area for the chickens and the pheasants. Uh, it's going to be a whole new structure for these guys uh, and it's right by the train in the kitchen garden of course uh, that Carrie takes care of and uh, we're very excited about it and hopefully we're going to see uh, a whole lot more happening over here construction wise after the holidays. Very exciting. It'll be a nice new big enclosure and like you mentioned Carrie Hefner a great asset to the zoo. The garden always looks perfect. Of course we're in the winter season so it looks a little different right now but You'll be able to see these dudes right here in yes. that space next to the Shirley the Elephant uh, big sculpture. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Desi, do you have anything to say? Well, now he got a little quiet. <laughs> we'll send him back. And you know what? We're going to have more information about these guys on our website after the show. The zoo is open every day of the week between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. You can get tickets for the boat ride, train ride, or to feed the tortoises or budgies at the front office. For the first year, the zoo is keeping that boat ride open during the winter months as well. Jungle Bells is December 16th. That is this Saturday from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. There is free admission into the zoo on this day thanks to Jeff Guerrero. There will be food trucks, vendors, animal encounters, and of course, a visit from Santa Claus. The train and boat rides do still have a fee on this day.